नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट एंड यू वॉचिंग वेंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा Tonight we have news from the neighborhood Pakistan is broke and buried under debt seeking a bailout but refusing to mend its ways it's a story of many parts and a lesson on how not to run a country meanwhile india's prime minister is preparing for a state visit to the us in europe hundreds of thousands of people are out on the streets british home secretary is telling the police to arrest the protesters instead of posing for photos with them in the age of social media can you really blame the cops In Singapore the blame game in jilted love has reached a court and trust me you've not heard a story like this before also on the show we'll discuss the geopolitics of money what makes the dollar so powerful and why should you care first as always the headlines The United States opens its embassy in the Solomon Islands after an absence of 30 years it's the latest move by Washington DC to counter China's push into the Pacific Israeli Prime Minister to hold talks with the French president Netanyahu hopes to gain support from Macron against Iran's nuclear program amid a spike in violence in the region. A shocker from Kenya, six teachers arrested over a viral video which shows primary school students simulating sex as punishment. Shell records its highest profit in 115 years. The British energy giant's net profit surged to more than 42 billion dollars last year amid soaring oil and gas prices due to the Russia-Ukraine war. And Hong Kong offers 500,000 free air tickets to visitors to resurrect the once vibrant global hub after 3 years of COVID and forced isolation. An Indian becoming a UK PM. Well, It's not like that we are going to get the Kohinoor back. <laughs> But at least India is on its way to the top, huh? But Gautam sir, there's actually not much to celebrate. Why not? An Indian is ruling the UK. Indian leaders in third countries often tend to overcompensate for their minority handicap. Key For example, Sunak's Home Secretary of Indian Origin Suela Braghman disapproved of India-UK free trade because it would encourage people immigrating to the UK and the majority of whom were Indians. Structurally, India and UK have passed baggage that still hasn't been resolved. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, India needs to significantly temper its expectations from Rishi Sunak. Presenting Vantage with me Palki Sharma, a first of its kind global show with an Indian perspective. 